Today, Bludja, the Fire Devil Maiden. The Bludja, what is, what kind of a name is Bludja? We have Irene, we have Layla, those like normal names, then we have Bludja. Whatever, anyway, it's not like she's supposed to be a normal character in real life. Uh, Bludja, the Fire Devil Maiden, this is a unit that does a lot of debuffs. Actually, she would be a nice combination with Layla as well. She has a 44% uh, 44 attack power leader skill. This is a glancing hit single target. This is an AoE strip. Uh, and attack power break and then we have this one is continuous damage is disturb HP recovery and then it's also decreased attack bar by 25% in proportion to the number of harmful effects granted on enemies so we should see a lot of debuffs today I expect that we will also see some Veramos I expect that we will also see some Juno so let's get it started oh we see the LD5s already coming out double art master and then we see some net force come okay C1, <laughs> all the LD5 teams in C1. Let's go. That was so fast. They have the speed lead, and I assume the Wall Young is on Swift, and they still get outsped by the uh, the Laura. So that's going to decrease the. Apparently not. Not going to decrease the attack age uh, so much. But that did a pretty solid amount of damage to the Nyx. And that is where they had the attack power buff. I assume that he is on a damage build, that Oliver. It was a fast match. Potentially a very... Oh, never mind. I was going to say potentially a very dangerous uh, combination of her and the Nephthys. Will decrease quite a lot of attack age. If it actually lands. So, gets the stun there. They're not, they're not even going for it. Okay. They're not even going for the, uh, the Bloodya. What a name. Blood I don't know why it bothers me. Because <laughs> I'm bothered by the dumbest things. That's why it bothers me. Let's see. So this is going to AoE attack power break. And the Shungpung is down. I'm sure. Yep. So what does she have? What skills does she have access to now? Uh, nothing. Okay, that's easy. I don't have to even think about that. Not that I was going to use my brain anyway, guys. You know. You know how it is. I'm appreciating the glancing debuff more over time. Like, I used to not care about it at all. I was like, glancing? Who cares about glancing? Nowadays, I'm like, yeah, I'll take a glancing debuff. <laughs> Sometimes it's the only chance you have. Toxic combination of Shungpung and more. Really? I did not think that was going to be the ban. Okay, so uh, turn one is going to go to... Never mind, that looks like that's on Swift then. It's a uh, Swift Wusa. Resists. Gets the glancing. Okay. Let's see, that's going to decrease the attack age quite a bit. Not bad. Mountain's power. Okay. Does he actually... He gets a, a one glancing, one crit. But he's not able to... <laughs> he actually landed that. That's ridiculous. Okay. Does he... Well, he's not gonna proc. Oh my god, he landed it again! What is this Wusa? Swift Wusa OP, guys. Guess the glance. Of course he's gonna get the glance. More glances. The brutal power of glancing hit. All right. I think that uh, Hey Gang is actually pretty solid in the current meta. He can be tricky to use, right? He's not just a cleave unit. You have to actually have some finesse with him. But he's been good for a while. I'm not saying he's not. He wasn't good before, but just he has a lot of a lot more value in the current meta than people maybe give him credit for. However, you do actually have to use a little bit of brain with him. They they got some clutch sleeps, though. They got some clutch sleeps. I'm not going to say they did. They definitely did. Okay. GG. OP, uh, OP Wusa. There you go. And get the glance. More sleeps? No more sleeps? Okay. Yeah, that should be enough. Ooh, this definitely could be a win Frankenstein match right here with the Asima picked so early. They could have just left that. Well, I mean, they did leave it in, but. 
did a lot of damage. Squishy units. So as long as something can take down the Douglas, then they should be okay. The problem is taking down the... You don't, you don't know how that's going to work. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't work. Attack power brick. They do. Okay, so it's going to be easier now. Since his uh, passive is based on his attack power, it's going to be easier to uh, deal with the Douglas. So we have the attack power buff from the Dark Robo and the attack power break from the, on, on the Douglas. And that is, that's going to make the win so much easier. If it wasn't for that, that Douglas could have soloed. Tessarion Molong Rakuni. It's almost like I'm watching a match from three years ago. Player on the right hand side is, is basically picking all the old, the OG units. Let's see, this could be a nasty, could be a nasty combo. Getting a lot of debuffs on the enemy team. They got lucky that they did not revenge. They could have revenged there. That would have been really nasty. They, they got lucky. And that's the one. That's the one that revenges, of course. No defense breaks. Although they got the Rakuni, so they don't have to worry about Rakuni now. And now they're getting, wow, defense breaks. Nasty when she cycles so much attack gauge with skill 2 and then also violent procs after her skill 3. So they don't have any sustain. On, we're really not seeing any blood yet right now. We're seeing that people maybe should be picking Rocky more. That's I, I think that's what we've learned from this match. Yep. This is going to be rough. I know that they wanted to pick the blood yet regardless. But it's going to be a rough team to pick her into. So we might just see the Dark Cannon Girl steal the show here. That's kind of what I'm expecting. Okay, decrease attack H and enough to take him out. So going for the Blood Yeah, but the reason that I say that is because of all the cleanse, right? So they have the cleanse with uh, Rikuni and also Camila. And they have two things to revive Blood Yeah too. So I, I would say I, I would be the most scared of the cannon girl. Not not Bledja. I'd be most scared of Bella. Cause Bella's the biggest threat, in my opinion, on that uh on that side of the battlefield. They have destroy HP, they have decreased attack age, they have lots of dots. That is that is the nasty one. Still going for Bledja though. All that destroy HP. Bella, Bella won this match. This is already over, and Bella already won this. That's I'm already calling it. I don't need to see the rest of the match. I know what's gonna happen. Welcome back. And Bella's gonna steal the show. Oh, well, they have attack power break there. It's nothing. Okay. I wasn't really expecting too much. Really, Bledja may as well not even be. Am I being too mean when I say she may as well not even be here? Because I don't really expect her to do very much. And welcome back. I suppose she didn't really do she didn't really do anything. This was not her time to shine. This is the Dark Cannon Girl. I refuse to be uh, told otherwise. This is the Dark Cannon Girl won the entire match. Interesting. They have enough counters to I don't think we're gonna really see the blood yet very much in this I mean she's gonna do things but I, I don't think she's gonna be the one that wins I think the one that uh, really does the most work is going to be the Ikaris kind of fun to see the Fran uh, I haven't been seeing too much of her lately she does have some uh, some teams that she's useful in but I feel like uh, there's gonna be Ikaris doing dark recovery there because people just build her super fast with a lot of damage and not very tanky. So as soon as that one is done. Th this is already game. The Bludgeon doesn't even need to be there, to be honest. Which she's probably gonna die soon anyway, so we're gonna see we're gonna see her not be there in a second. There we go. Yeah, she didn't really need to be there. They can uh they can win without her. These two water units can handle this by themselves. The car is just an added bonus. And I think they're going to go for... No, they're going to go for Fran next, I suppose. That's what it's looking like. And then the two water units can just solo these two fires. And they don't have to worry about it. 
that's that's at least my Well, let's see. Does she violent proc? Yes, she does. Dark recovery and Frayne is down. And then the water injury is going to be able to do quite a decent. We're not even seeing blood yet anymore. Water injury can do quite a quite a bit though. Provoke on the vertiheal and then. Well, he doesn't even need to. And then he also has sustain. He says sustain. He has coming back from the dead. He has. He's going to have nine million. Uh, 9 million of his buffs. It's already 8 turns. I suppose 9 million might be an exaggeration, but he's he's got this. He can handle the entire thing by himself. Unless he gets CC'd the whole time. But he should be good here. That should be game. Nope, not game. Quite yet. There we go. So that is Bledja, the Fire Devil Maiden. We got to see her do a little bit of what she can do. She didn't really do anything ridiculous, crazy that we've never seen before. Honestly, I feel like she's a less exciting version of Tamo, but maybe I'm a terrible person for saying that because Tamo is kind of, when she gets going, she's kind of nasty. And I feel like the people that would pick her would probably just rather pick Tamo because it would be a more effective. Plus, she's got the speed lead, too. So anyway, uh, they don't have an... Tomo doesn't have an AoE strip, though. But anyway, that's it for this one. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I will see you, as always, in the next one.